And what do you think of China's decision to open up COVID-19 emergency vaccines to certain high-risk groups? Okay. Well, one thing we have to remember is that we're in a pandemic, and there are people in China that are at great risk of encountering the virus. There are vaccines now that there's enough confidence in the vaccines that they are in use in large phase three clinical trials. These vaccines have passed phase one trial and passed phase two trial, so that it means that they have a certain amount of safety information, a certain amount of immunogenicity information, and a degree of confidence that lets them to be given in phase three trials to tens of thousands of people. Of all the different types of vaccines, which ones will be the most effective? The ultimate effectiveness and the duration of protection, how long a person is protected for after they've been vaccinated, these are things that will take a long time to learn. So if a vaccine protects for three years or six years, it'll take at least six years to figure that out. So, so I think another way to think about these vaccines is that WHO has developed a target product profile that describes the characteristics of a vaccine that will be useful. And so far, all of the vaccines that are being developed in China and globally appear to be meeting and on a path to meet that target product profile.